Así vamos a comenzar con esta entrega de premios, llamando en primer lugar a la finalista del cuadro Huita del Mutuo Madrid Open 2024, Arina Zabalenka. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. Last month, last month's been kind of like intense for me, and feels like I haven't been on stage for forever. So I don't know. I'm speechless right now. But um, thank you so much for such an incredible tournament. Always enjoy my time here. Um, thank you so much for the for the atmosphere. You guys make this place very special for me, and I enjoy playing. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoy playing playing in front of you all and I just try to make this match as long as possible to enjoy as long as I can this beautiful uh, court and atmosphere. Uh, I actually supposed to start from me actually. <laughs> Sorry, see, I'm lost a little bit, but congrats on another great tournament for you. You guys do an incredible job, and uh, hopefully next year it goes to me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I agree on that one. <laughs> great play, great match, and yeah, wow, three hours. That's a long one. Hopefully we'll recover fast for the next tournament. <laughs> Wish us luck, guys. Uh, thank you so much to my incredible team. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I not I think I'm pretty sure I have the best team. We've been through a lot and you're always there for me, you're always supporting me and uh, you always keep me going. Thank you so much and I love you. <laughs> Finalista Ignacio Garralda, presidente de Mutua Madrileña, Arina Zabalenka. Y ahora sí, vamos con la ganadora de este año del Mutua Madrid Open 2024 en eh, categoría femenina, Iga Sviante. Okay, I felt like I already gave a pretty nice speech, but let's try again. Um, Arena, uh, too many more um, finals. Um, always, you know, a challenge playing against you. So thanks for also motivating me and uh, forcing me to be a better player. <laughs> um, okay, yes. Um, I want to thank my team. Um, it's <laughs> oh my god! Like I've had pretty, you know, nice speeches before. So I don't know what else to say to make it feel special. But I think uh, what you saw on court was pretty special anyway. So um, thank you guys for sticking with me through ups and downs, uh, for understanding and for motivating me because without you, you know, I wouldn't be here with, without each of you and your knowledge. So um, I hope we're gonna, you know, continue progressing because that's the most important thing at the end. Um, yes, and I want to thank my family who's watching, my, my sponsors, uh, tournament sponsors, everybody who's making this tournament possible. Also volunteers, um, ball kids, sorry for mean faces sometimes. Uh, and um, yeah, let's, oh, and thank you guys. Sorry, I'm too tired. Thank you uh, for watching till the end and for amazing atmosphere. As I said, it's always a pleasure to be back in Madrid. So I'll be already looking forward for next year. And yeah, have a good evening. Y ahora Inmaculada Sanz, vicealcaldesa de Madrid y Gardiñe Boguruza entregan conjuntamente el trofeo de ganadora a Iga Sviontek.
from one former number one to the current number one. As Gardenia Muguruza hands Iga Świątek her trophy. And the world number one very deserving of this moment. Be interesting to find out the celebration that comes with title number 20 for Iga. Next up is Rome, so we know Italy's around the corner. We know she loves tiramisu. <laughs> That's true. I don't think there's going to be a long celebration, maybe just a mini one, because you really, she's got to get ready for Rome all, already. But what a celebration right now. That's pretty cool. The streamers on the court. It's a pretty cool trophy, too. And it's one that she wanted. It's one that she needed. She said she was determined. Madrid was the last of the European clay court titles that she did not have, and now she has it. And she sets her sights, of course. She's not one to be content with anything, so she'll be the one to try to back it up next year. Yeah, of course. She's too competitive and too motivated, and just one that's just always looking to get better and improve, and she knows she can't... Um, take one step back because everyone's going to be wanting to get that title next year. But yeah, I mean, she proved that she deserved it today. She played so well when she was down. It seemed like Sabalenka had control, but Sviantek so mentally tough and, and showed that really well today. Sabalenka couldn't go back to back this year. In fact, in the tournament's history since 2009, only two women have won back to back titles. Serena Williams, Simona Halep. Next year, Sviantek will have that chance. But this day should be savored and recognized for the moment. You have no doubt in anyone's mind that Iga Sviantec will take time to just soak it all in as finally in the Spanish capital she reigns supreme. Well, a fantastic two weeks on a bar-raising final that sets the template for spring tennis the rest of the way. A match that's satisfied. Three hours and 11 minutes. 9-7 in the final set tiebreak. One versus two in three sets. And in the end, it was the one, world number one, Iga Sviantek, Campeón de Madrid. That'll do it for our coverage of this WTA 1000. Thanks for being with us, tennis fan. We say muchas gracias. And Joe Kravis, it's been a pleasure. We'll see you down the road. Pleasure as always, Kevin. Until next year. <laughs> All right, tennis fan, we hope you join us for Rome in four days' time. But for now, the moment belongs to Iga Sviantek as she reigns supreme as the queen of the Spanish capital and the Matua Madrid Open. You want to talk about an instant classic. We had one in the first win from the Madrid Open title for Iga Sviatek. World number one Iga Sviatek, that is, edged Sabalenka in a stunning Madrid Open final to win the title for the first time on Saturday in what was a repeat of last year's Summit Clash at the WTA 1000 clay court tournament. Coming back from 1-3 down in the decider and saving three match points in total, Sviatek claimed a 7-5, 4-6, 7-6 victory to secure the trophy. She has now won each of the WTA 1000 and 500 tournaments held on European clay at least once to go with three French Open titles on the surface at Roland Garros. Sviatek has won her last eight consecutive finals, and now joins Ribakina with 30 victories this season. Arena, too many more finals. It's always a challenge playing you. Thanks for always motivating me and forcing me to be a better player, Sviatek said at the trophy presentation. In warmer temperatures but breezier than usual conditions at the Kaya Mahika, the pair traded breaks to kick off the final and were neck and neck until Sviatek drew a forehand error from Sabalenka to break her 6-5 and closed out the 61-minute opening set on her first opportunity. Despite squandering a two-love uh, two lead early in the second, Sabalenka manifested a set point on Sviatek's serve in Game 10, forcing an decider with a lightning-fast down-the-line forehand winner. It was the fifth time in six matches this fortnight that Sabalenka found herself embroiled in a three-set duel and she was clearly ready to go to distance. The defending champion broke for 3-1 in the decider, peppering Sviatek with deep, powerful shots, but her lead was short-lived. Sviatek saved a pair of match points on her own serve at 5-6 as a high-quality affair fittingly went to a deciding tiebreak. 
Sabalenka produced an ace to save the match point at 5-6 in the breaker and saw one of her own slip away as Sviatek survived for 7-7. Moments later, the Polish world number one flung herself to the ground in disbelief as she sealed a heroic victory on a long backhand from two-time champion Sabalenka. I tried to make this match as long as possible. Hopefully next year goes for me, Sabalenka said. Three hours. That's a long one. Hopefully we recover fast for the next tournament. Well, fast or not, this one was a doozy. Once again, Sviatek defeats Sabalenka two sets to one with a score of 7-5, 4-6, 7-6, and in the tiebreaker, 9-7. Heck of a match, folks. This one went well over three hours, three hours and 14 minutes. First set took an hour and one. Second set, 53 minutes. A third and the decider, one hour and 20 minutes for a total, three hours and 14 minutes. Did you watch this match? Do you want to rewatch it? There's highlights, replays all over the place. I would highly, highly, highly suggest this to watch this one over and over again. This was a classic indeed. On to Rome we go. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. I will be producing this kind of content more or less on a daily basis. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and of each other. Get that cash. This is Trending Rabbit.